hi and welcome to the channel and the channel i put the name is tech learn together and basically this is the first video on the channel that i'm gonna cover and this would be in the playlist of sap business one consultant certification i'm planning to make the different videos which will cover the consultant developer stk and the other fields of sap and first of all the first video would be targeted for sap business one consulting certification so this would be this video would be useful for the people who are preparing for the certification course uh, for the consulting so the this video is gonna i'm gonna talk about the purchase basics and in the sap business one and after this one i hope you can uh, tell about the end of the topic you can tell about the basic process step for the procurement and the streamlined process procurement so the first one is let's say create a scenario that your uh, company is buying the pro product also from vendors we the, in the purchase documents we are always going to use the vendor to purchase something and normally the whole purchase procurement process is basically contains the different documents but whatever uh, but however sometimes what happen is that you just get a you just need to make a call and submit your order to get the get the order quicker you know so you have to skip most of the document creation into the sap business one in order to fulfill your requirement quickly so basically there are four main steps in the purchase uh, purchasing the first one is purchase order then the good receipt PO, then ap invoice and the last one is not inside the purchase but we always gonna talk about the payments so when you're making the invoice then you have to make the payment to the vendor too so the outgun payment will be the fourth one so let's talk about the purchase order first the purchase order the screen gonna look something like this you have to select a vendor from where you want to purchase and which item you want to purchase from the vendor it is basically showing the commitment that you're gonna buy this product from this vendor then the good receipt PO is look like it's almost similar the same almost all the marketing documents uh, look alike so this is the good receipt here and this is basically denotes the delivery of the goods from the vendor so when you're gonna receive the document uh, the you the consignment of your product into your warehouse uh, that's when your GRP you're gonna hit and your real inventory gonna be counted in your warehouse and you will have your product into your inventory and when you created the GRPU, then it will increase your inventory and also update your prices of that inventory. The third one is AP invoice. So AP invoice in the document, which account payable into the vendor request for the payment. So this is basically uh, one of your colleague can I enter the information that okay we make some orders we already received the GRP we already have the uh, the goods in our warehouse so now we have to make the payment to this uh, vendor for this amount on this date and this is basically the invoice then the last one is the outgoing payment in the outgoing payment uh, inside the outgoing payment uh, it looked like this and when you select the same vendor then it will it will initiate the payment to the vendor account and functionality and reporting for the process payment belonging to the banking module as we can already see it's belong to the banking module there are also some additional country specific payment method but in SAP Business One, functionality and reporting associated with the processing, processing payments are associated through the banking module. Now, here we saw two master data right now. The first one is the vendors. The vendor, the, the vendor we can make from the business partner master data named vendor. 
the first uh, one of the master data so it used in all the purchasing transactions and automatic and manual finance procurement transactions and it contained the contact person you know as here if you go into that mode you're gonna see the contact person and the contact person could be as many as you want you can make the default contact person if you have more than one contact person and it also contains the addresses basically the bill and ship both can be multiple and as the same way you can also make one of the addresses as a default it contains the payment means like in which payment method you want to pay and the, all the accounting informations about the taxes and all but we will take a look into uh, each screen deeper into my upcoming videos now the second uh, item master data that we saw in the purchase for example if i open the purchase order and you saw the item master item number so inside the inventory there is a second master data is called item master data and in the item master data you see that is useful in the preferred vendor then it is basically used in purchasing unit of measures so as you can see we have the unit of measures right here and then the item dimensions tax informations you know and link of purchase analysis report so basically uh, frequently the same items are purchased invented and sold and as you can see in here and the information is the same it is just used differently this is the advantage of using an item master data which can be copied into the different documents like the purchasing sales mrp production inventory and many more the header of the item master data uh, record contains the general information about the item their description what are the form for foreign name which in which type of this item is what is the item group you know and price information there are basically 12 predefined prices given by the sap business one and it could happen that you are selling the same item into the different prices to the different location or to the different customer groups or the vendors so all this information is contained into the header and then the general tab of the item master data holding the menu uh, the information about the manufacturer of the item you know and uh, to whom you're gonna buy this item if you're gonna run out of the items uh, and uh, sorry in the journal you're gonna see like you know the manufacturing details that you can define by yourself and then the shipping type then which kind of item is it the bad serial none i will talk about that also later and since till when the item will be active or is this item inactive by the remark and some other informations then what happened is like when you create the purchase order then there is no inventory hitting or there is no uh, amount deducted from your account because the purchase order is just a commitment to the vendor that I'm gonna buy the product it can be cancelled anytime and you do not have to uh, make any adjustment in your SAP business one uh, inventory or anything now but when you from the purchase order you're gonna create a um, GRPO at that time when you create the GRPO at that time your inventory gonna hit and in that case your your account when when the GRPO creates a general entry uh, a general entry that will be posted the value of the received goods and debit side of the stock account and the credit side on the allocation cost account that simply mean that you when you receive an item then your uh, the quantity of the item will be increased in your stocks but the money that you paid to the vendor will be gonna decrease and the general entry i'm talking about is basically belonging to the finance and general entry so what happened whenever any marketing document for example grp you're gonna create it then there is one general entry gonna be created uh, 
by against that good receipt peer which will tell you exactly what's happened and what transaction happened and to whom you paid which vendor you paid and all the information so that you can track your expenses and you can track your inventory as well plus when your inventory goes up for example if you order one item um, let's take one of the item from here for example you order this item and when you make a GRPO uh, for example in this warehouse then the stock any stock quantity will be uh, get increased and the total available quantity will also will be get increased for the same item now you can but as I discussed in the beginning like it could also happen that you do not have much time to skip uh, you do not have much time to create all the documents like purchase order good receipt PO then AP invoice and then the going payments and it is so urgent that you just have to make an order into the phone so you can directly uh, create one document instead of creating the purchase order in GRPO and you can create directly AP invoice without any uh, relation of the GRPO or something and in that case you can create and create an individual AP invoice and that AP invoice is gonna increase your uh, quantity in the stocks and it's also gonna credit uh, your account and also fire the general entry in that case, this case too so as i uh, as a summary as you can say that the there are basic four steps of the uh, of the purchasing uh, purchasing let's say uh, the purchase order, the good receipt, PO, AP invoice, and ongoing payment. Uh, the, there's two uh, master data involved in the whole process. One is business partner master data, another one is the item master data. And to streamline the whole purchasing process, that was, there is only one mandatory document which is going to cover all the other documents like GIP and purchase order without any dependency, and that would be the AP invoice. And the AP invoice is designed to increase the inventory when the invoice does not reference a good receipt PO as a base document. So a base document is, for example, if you're creating the AP invoice from the uh, good receipt PO, then it's called the base document would be the good receipt PO and your final document is the AP invoice. But if there is no base document, then the purchase uh, invoice going to increase your inventory too. So uh, thank you for listening and I hope you like the, uh, the first video and stay tuned for upcoming ones.